Well, thank you, Brett. Uh, we're now going to go to questions from the audience. Um, as a reminder, type your question in the question box and push send. That'll get it to us. We'll be able to see it and respond to it appropriately. Um, also, as another reminder, if you're requesting pesticide credits for this presentation, you must go to the audience chat box. Audience chat box, not question box. Go to audience chat box, type in your first name, your last name, and the state or states for which you are requesting credits. Um, we'll wait a little while, see if we get any questions from our audience here. While we're waiting, just a couple housekeeping items. Um, there is a net, there's a, the networking is available this evening, so you can go to the networking session. Um, they're going to have a what they call a trip down memory lane. They're going to have you know some pictures from way back when, I guess, this being the 25th anniversary of the Georgia Fruit and Vegetable Growers Association. Uh, but you have a chance to network, visit with the uh, trade show participants and a lot, a lot of the sponsors. So. Join us for that. Um, I don't really see any questions right now. But James, if you can hear me, if you can hear me, James, um, type your name in the audience box, not the chat box. So you got these questions, Brett? Yes, yes. Um, so, how many summer oil sprays did you apply regarding your data? Um, any benefit for oil in each cover spray? Um, so we did uh, for for both years. It was six sprays total uh, with the with the oil, um, and it, it does. It seems like you know, in terms of scale management, more sprays pro probably the better. Um, for the actual management in terms of whether or not those sprays are needed is unknown. Um, so I know, no, the oil is not cheap. Um, so the more, more applications of oil, even at a low rate, the, the higher the cost. Um, and so with the six applications that we did in the two years, it seemed to work well. Now this all comes back. I still need to do the, the work on whether or not this will still comply with our with our disease management um, so that might change everything but right now the, with the six sprays I think we're seeing adequate control and then um, the next question how many generations of San Jose scale are you seeing in Georgia each year um, it's it's at least three. Um, we're seeing definitely three activity peaks with this with the crawlers, um, and generally we're also seeing a fourth peak. And that's going to be later in the fall, um, and it tends to be a little bit lower than our like late July August peak. Um, so generally, I would say about four generations a season. Um, granted, when it's warm, scale are out there all the time, so there's potential for even more um, generations, but uh, really about four distinct generations a year. Yeah, I was going to say all of them. We're seeing all the generations. <laughs> it is. It's, it's, they're insane. It's, it's, it's not, it's, <laughs> it's not right. All right. I'm not seeing any more questions, Brett. Oh, looks good on my end. Thanks, everyone. Okay, once again, as a friendly reminder, make sure that you type your name in the audience chat box, uh, first and last name, in the state in which you're looking for for credits. If it's multiple states, put them all, you know, put them all on there, and uh, then you'll get your credit for the for the presentation. So we got a couple more really good presentations coming up. So y'all make sure you join us there. Once again, thank you, Brett. Thank you, everybody that tuned in, and thank you all our sponsors and industry industry partners. I'm closing up. See ya.